जय हिंद एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन टू दैटिक आई एस लेट स्टार्ट आवर आई एस पी एस फॉर आर डेली करेंट अफेयर्स टूडे वी हैव मोस्टली द टॉपिक दैट आर इन्वॉल्व इज फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रोरल रिफॉर्म सच एज द वी वी पैट एंड द यूज ऑफ द वी वी पैट हाउ वी आर मैचिंग दिस ओके एंड ऑल्सो इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंडियन डेमोक्रेसी हाउ द इलेक्ट्रोरल प्रोसेस हैज बिन फ्रॉम द नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन टू द दिस लोकसभा इलेक्शन दैट इज द एटींथ लोकसभा इलेक्शन सो कंटिन्यूसली दिस इज द प्रोसेस दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ द आर्टिकल दैट वी विल स्टडी सो ऑल द आर्टिकल्स आर मोर और लेस रिलेटेड टू दैट सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद दैट फ्रंट पेज दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट द देर हैज बिन द confrontation between the security force and the maoist and the 29 maoist has been sorted and this number of the this year that is 79 this is going to be highest into the last highest tally into the uh, from the 2019 so that's why it's important and we have seen that continuously uh, decrease into the base of the maoism into the chatisgarh and over all india that's even the government is claiming that so here many of the top cadre has been killed so the pinpoint information was there and it was into the kanker district of the chatisgarh kanker district that is situated very close to the raipur raipur jhio and it is between the jagdalpur and the raipur so this is the area that is the bastar district and this is the raipur here is the blaspur so this is into the core area of the Maoism and Maoist base. Okay, next important news that we are going to take is the Supreme Court bench has opposed the returning of the paper ballot. They are telling that the uh, as per the observation, the judge said that already we have seen the ballot system and there was lot of chances of the booth capturing. Now we have shifted to the uh, this uh, EVM system and this is much better. There are some of the issues we can resolve such as the VV pad verification for that continuously. Uh, the hearing is going on. So this is all about from that the government has denied. to go revert back to the uh, we, uh, this ballot system okay here the, we have seen that the x took the down fourth post and it has published this recently we have uh, seen that the such take down from the x post was not published and now this is after long time they are publishing and this they have said that they were not agree with the government point of view to take down notice but they have done that okay the next important news again it is continuously into the news from the patanjali and the patanjali head baba ramdev and bala krishnan they are on to the case of the contempt of the court and here they are going for the apol apol apolization but the court is not accepting that they are the, here the, this is the word of the judge that the law was equally for the all judges of the court followed the constitution they had sworn an oath to uphold the constitution it didn't matter who was in front of them they have to uphold and they have to make the credibility of the court it doesn't matter who is there either you are baba ram dev or anyone else we will treat equally this is the sentence from the court main issue is that they are very angry because of the way the patanjali and his head word treating and the fooling the people with respect to the misleading in, uh, advertisement they are claiming that they have the solution for the each and every of the disease here is, they are talking about that they have the solution for the diabetes obesity even they have sold their medicine on the name of the covid-19 cure and treatment and this is against the drugs and magic remedies act 1944 So this is all about from the this first uh, front page that is relevant. Next important news that we are going to take is from the editorial and it is talking about the a referendum on the India's future. Here it is talking about and particularly with respect to the present context and the election that is going to be held in, in from the May 19 to the 1st June for the elect uh, for the Lok Sabha 18 Lok Sabha. so you should know the writer sasi tharu from the congress so here it is a bit political however we have some point of the basics that we should know this article talks about that the upcoming election that is the test of the democracy there is the threat of the democracy as per this writer okay he is talking about that present condition the present condition of indian democracy is not as per the exact democracy 
or the substantive democracy it is like the electoral autocracy so what is means by the by the autocracy autocracy means rule of few with the with the power power concentrated with hand of the few maybe it could be the political party or a person but the electoral autocracy election will be there but these elections will be not free and fair and particularly the condition that makes the election free and fair like the independent media independent institutions such as the different investigative ag agencies or the the opposition candidates that have the sufficient level playing field where they are equally contesting with the those who are in the power here those who are into the opposition they are facing some of the drawback some of the disadvantage due to the being into the opposition not being into the power and those who are into the power they are misusing the power or that they are using the power in a such a manner to make their position advantageous and that is not as per the rule of law okay so here it is talking about the this uh, you should know that electoral democracy what is this and what are the major characteristics such as the here the media will be controlled limiting opposition candidate or the intimidating the voters even that is the level okay even the writer is talking about that there has been the perception that there has been the violation and even there has been the separation of the fundamental rights of the people that is the uh, that is fundamental pillars of the democracy such as the legislature judiciary media independent agencies here independent agency it could be the ed it could be the cbi it could be cag any of them okay beside that the writer is talking that the, there has been increased into the hate speech, speech by the those who are into the power or those who are in the alliance with the party into the power or those organization who have the same ideology with the those who are into the power and demonization of the minorities the minority has been pushed to the corner and to the that corner where they have become more vulnerable and all the voting behavior has been converted on the hate of those minority those who have been the push to the corner this has been the label this has been the tendency into the electoral form in the india in the next paragraph the writer is talking about the what has been the condition when india got freedom and the first election was held at that particular time the nation was facing a lot of adversarial conditions such as at that particular time there was the partition and due to the partition there was huge violence people all enemy to each other on the name of the religion there was the pending task of the integrating near about more than 500 pencil state it was near about 552 but yes still you can consider more than 500 and in that condition it was the time it was the tested time when the all over the world there was the prediction that india will be disintegrated into the at least 20 nation more than the europe this was the even the churchill said that indian democracy is not going to be successful and it will become the dictatorship despite we we prove that they are wrong we integrated india into the one nation we brought the deepening of the democracy we brought the deepening and the strengthening of the opposition it was the tendency even when the opposition was weak many of the leader from the opposition they were accommodated into the ministry council of ministry of the government that was the level of the democratic and respect of the opposition as per this writer okay here he has brought that we we granted universal adult franchise even at that time the literacy level was just 18% near about 18% maybe 18.2% 18.5% but it was around 18% despite that we provided the adult suffrage means everyone who was above to age of 18 if they are not banned by the some of the rules such as the representation of people act like that they are involved into the criminal activity and they are they are convicted for the more than 2 years something like that but they were provided with the universal adult franchise without any consideration of the religion caste or the income and it was still even at that particular time many of the nation many of the those who 
call themselves as the developed world they were not ready they were not able they are not capable to provide the adult franchisee at that time despite we have less literacy we provided with the universal franchisee that was achievement in itself and even at that time there were 176 million eligible voters what means that 17 crores 6 lakh 60 lakh that was the numbers for the voters at that time and we successfully held our uh, our election the there was a story at that time one of the voters at a booth protested that he wanted to vote for the sukumar Singh, the first chief elector elect uh, the uh, first chief election of the india sukumar sen please remember this for your problems that uh, one of the booth the voters protested that he won because he was so much happy with the work of the chief election commission of india and election commission of india the way they conducted the hard work they put for the successful conducting of this ele election so that was the level of the preparation that was because at that time it was not that, that there was a the lot of vehicle many a times it was the bullock card that was being used for the uh, uh, sending the ballot box even the starting at the starting point there was a lot of toughness because uh, what you now see that is not condition at that time there were the boxes and even the people have to uh, 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 people have to uh, put the blank ballot to the those uh, uh, candidate where they are not voting and they are where they are voting for that candidate they have to give the stamp and they have to put the, their ballot box into the that box so there are the boxes for the opposition candidate as well the contesting can, uh, candidate for them the person is not voting so this was the condition despite that we successfully held the election we deepened the our level of the democracy because there was the deep desire for that that is the writer here want to mention in the next paragraph the writer bring what was the condition with respect to the opposition the relationship between the opposition and the congress congress for the dominating party and the system was known as the one party domination now it can be it can be a bit can be uh, we can say for the bjp a one party domi uh, domination but at that time even the congress was umbrella party and there was lot of ideology within the congress that uh, that was uh, that was flow uh, flooding okay so here you can see that even the congress within itself was not free from the opposition or the contestation for example the first prime minister nehru himself he faced the challenge from the the Congress president at that time, the Purushottam Das Tandon. Okay, so here the Nehru was not comfortable with the ideology was uh, of the Purushottam Das Tandon that was the president of the Congress. So Prime Minister was different, the president of the Congress was different. And that's why there was a challenge that was faced by the Nehru because the Purushottam Das Tandon was a bit considered as a close to the right-wing organization such as the RSS. And uh, Nehru opposed and even the, uh, there was the situation that reached that the Nehru resigned. After that, there was a situation that the Congress was not ready to accept the resignation of Nehru because the Nehru was so much popular and the election was there. So there was the pressure and after that Pursottam Das Tandons resigned and Nehru again get the presidency of the Congress. So he was the president as well as the prime minister for the 1951 and 52 okay so this was the situation here it has mentioned beside that it has been mentioned that, that there was a lot of a strong opposition for example the leader like the jb kripalani jay prakash narayan baba sahib ambedkar and even the sp mukherjee sama prasad mukherjee okay so they were very strong leaders jb kripalani very close to the gadi ji okay even the jay prakash narayan that is the very famous and you must be knowing that the emergency at that particular situation the Jayaprakash Naraj was the tallest leader okay even the, there was a the time when it, it is uh, being said that there is the anecdote that the Nehru offered 
Jayaprakash Narayan after the death of Sardar Ballabhai Patel for the post of the Deputy Prime Minister, Home Ministry. Jayaprakash Narayan didn't accept it. He said that I am here for the service not to take the post or the ministry. So he was working into the distance backward area for the integration, for the upliftment of the people, the mindset change of the people so that they could be integrating into the Indias. At that time, the leader was of the, that level. Without hungry for the post or the any position, they were ready to serve the country behind the curtain. Okay, so this is the all about from here, the relationship between the Nehru and the other opposition leaders. Even here the writer has mentioned that the relation with the Communist Party of India, even the Congress and its leaders respected and yes, consider the communist of the party as the healthy opposition. Despite the communist of the part, communist party of India at that time, they supported the revel against the Indian state into the Hyderabad. So that was the case. They wanted to make a proletariat region into the Hyderabad, despite that we gave chance for the them to contest the election to be part of the democracy. Here in the last, the writer want to appeal to the concerns of the voters that yes, at that particular time, what was the situation to build the India again in the, this 18th Lok Sabha election, again there is the chance that the people have to act as the so a custodian of the Indian Republic or the democracy or the constitution, they have to vote. Either they were ready to divide the soul of the India, soul of the India, here they are talking about the soul of India, partition of soul of India, or they, are they ready to oppose this or they ready to accept this. Okay, so the situation is same here. There is the fight for the inclusive vision, uh, 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 inclusive vision and those who are contesting this election on the basis of the divisive reason. So this is all about from the, this news article. Next important news is with respect to the again editorial and this is talking about the in the fray and here it is mainly based on the Lok Niti survey that's talking about there is the equal contest between the BJP and opposition. Here the BJP is at the lead but still this is not done and dusted. This is not the final result that uh, the BJP is not that much as strong as it was into the 2019 as per the recent survey. Now the people are preferring the unemployment and the price rise. Lot of people, a good percentage of the people, they are making this basis for the, this electoral fray. Okay. Lack of sufficient job and persistent high inflation that has been the cause of concern and the most of them more than half of them, they responded that the corruption has increased into the last five years. Such type of the glow, such type of the thing was not found. Previous election into the 2019 and the survey from uh, before that, that was the very much uh, pro to the government. But this time, the people are not that much pro to the uh, ruling party, ruling government. Okay. Here, they are of the belief that the economy has been the mediocre, not that much as it was given, the promise one, it is not as but the promise uh, that was being promised at that time, okay. Here they are of, of the belief that the masses have not been benefited, it is the elite that has been the benefited from the rule of the previous 10 years, okay. The mostly here it is talking about the Ram Temple, the ruling party is now making their base on the Ram Temple and the Hindutva. But the, this issue is not that much resonating as it is the economic job, job employment and the inflation. Okay. Here the survey shows that the BJP and its, its allies have the comfortable lead of the 12%. But still there is that the way the respond is getting or uh, that the survey is getting from the people that is making this contestation between the ruling party and opposition a bit very closer here other the most concerning thing is here that is given that uh, 58 percent of the responded they have said that they have the very less trust on the election commission of india this is the cause of concern 
ओके सो ही और द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया शुड वर्क इन सच ए मैनर सो दैट दे कैन विन द ट्रस्ट ऑफ द पीपल ओके बिसाइड दैट वी हैव सीन दैट द द वे द असेंबली इलेक्शन हैज बीन नाउ सोन द रिजल्ट देयर हैज बीन क्लियर कट सिग्नल साइन ऑफ द नॉर्थ साउथ डिवाइड वेयर द बीजेपी इज नॉट एबल टू मेक इट्स प्रोजेंस और द डोमिनेंस इनटू द साउथ बट यस इट इज स्ट्रांगर इनटू द हिंदी हॉटलैंड ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फ्रॉम द दिस न्यूज आर्टिकल next important news again this is from the already going on the war between going on the proxy war between the israel and iran we have seen that there was the attack from the israel on the iranian consulate consulate into the syria there was the death of its general and those who belong to the its quds forces this quds forces this is responsible for the operation in the foreign land such as these mission was assigned into the syria and lebanon and this is the part of the revolutionary guard the full form of this is the iranian revolutionary guard corps okay so here you should know good forces so this is the part of the iranian revolutionary guard uh, corps and this is part of the this is mainly responsible for the operation on the foreign land so here we have seen that the after that the retaliation from the iran and most of those missiles that was launched from the iran that was intercepted by the israel so here the iran says that yes we have retaliated it is good that the israel also have prevented all this launch and this this was the help of the us uk and the france okay so they able to prevent all this launch even the jordan was with the israel here so please remember this jordan this is many a times you confuse with the iranian support okay here the hezbollah is supported by the iran so you should consider this okay here there is with the <coughs> equalization of the attack by the attack i for i that is gone so, but the western nation and the us they are concerned about the escalation of war between the israel and iran and that's why they have cautioned the israel to no, do not go for the attack on the iran now who oh, here this is all about continuously we have seen that what is going on next important news that we will deal into the detail is the navigating life as a consumer with disability here this has been written into the context of the world consumer day that falls on the 15th of the march okay here and it's talk about that how there is the lack of accessibility and how those person with the disability they face the challenge into the day to day life and in the normal life and in that case they face the violation of their basic rights such as their dignity loss of dignity loss of independent and even loss of their privacy that is the case even for the normal thing they have to go and take the help of others and they have to disclose the information the basic information private information to the others and that's why the loss of the dignity privacy and independence they have to be dependent on each of the day and here one of the example has given that just to consider that you have to go and take some appliance on from the market you have to take the help of from the very um, uh, from the booking your cab to the uh, taking all these appliance coming back and yes contacting to the complaint authority here all this has been given then it is talking about the laws related to the rights of the person with the disability the most important law that is with respect to the person with disability is the just give me one second where it is yes here it is given that the most important law that to uh, try to protect the rights of the person with the disability one is the the right of person with the disability act 2016 and it's provide the very much specific rights such as the universe universally designed goods and services that are accessible to the everyone and uh, accessibility standard for the information and communication technology okay so here this is the main issue with this is that this is just recommendatory okay some of the example here it is given that the fasai advisory of the qr codes 
for the food products that has helped those person who are the visibly impaired they can do now by the qr code by the themselves they don't need of any other okay here the writer is talking about the who can make the changes where the person with the disability should go and what are the center point or the authority who can make the changes the first thing is that the business is itself if i am constructing or the manufacturing this pain or anything i have to be careful about that whenever a person with a disability is going to buy what are the issues they will face how will they will able to read that if he is the visually impaired so i should make in a such a way that they can also read okay i should make the the complaint process friendly to the uh, or the accessible to the person with the disability and we should also consider them under different type of the uh, uh, disability the thing is that it increase my cost and that's why it make my product less productive in that case a uniform standard is needed if i am a single businessman because the disability are not person with a disability they are not considered at the target group for the selling this product they think that they are not uh, that much potential they don't have that much potential to be a potential or the a mean consumer base and that's why they try to reduce the cost by avoiding all this thing here the role of government comes government can make the policies government can make the rules regulation to bridge this in accessibility and bring this accessibility gap so that the people can particularly the business can make this standard product for the person with the disability Bes beside that the government can help in raising the business awareness as well as awareness with respect to the right of the person with the disability so here we discuss that the rights of person with the disability that provide the universally designed good and services but the thing is thing uh, but the main issue with this act is that it is just a recommendatory they don't have the authority to p uh, put up uh, uh, put the penalty or the some of the compensation here they just can recommend in that case we have one alternative law that is the consumer protection act and this is the law that provide the penal provision and that's why this is more effective okay but the thing is that here again this is not that much specific as the right of the uh, uh, rights of the person with the disability so there is the disalignment here there is the provision of penalty they can be implemented in a more rigorous manner but the specific specification with respect to the rights of the person with disability is not there and this is here into the rights of person with the disability act but here there is no penal provision this is just recommendatory that's why we need to fill up the gap between this and align each other so that this could be more robust okay so government should fill up this gap as well as it's make the awareness about the right and resources under the both legislation that is crucial for the consumer with the person with the disability that is here one thing is that there is uh, due to this panel provision we have seen some of the cases where there has been the compensation and for example you should remember this as sudesh was the manager of gokulam cinema in that case the person with the disability that was provided with the compensation of the 1 lakh because the provision of accessibility was not there locomotive was not there the for the person with the disability so you should remember all this thing this is very important next important news that we are going to take is this reform needed in the voting process so here it is talking about that already we have a case that has been filed into the supreme court supreme court has accepted for the hearing and this is related to the 100% counting of the vv pad so this is geo 100% counting they wanted to count all the vv pad machines so that they can verify that whatever the voters has voted they have counted in actual manner and there is no deviation or any misuse or manipulation so this is main thing that we are going to discuss here so you should you must be knowing about the vv pad machine this is the slip that you get whenever you go and you push the symbol of the candidate you get the 
a list, a slip that is visible for a few seconds, maybe it could be the seventh second, and here you will find the name of the candidate symbol. This is the thing that you will find, not the name of the party. So please remember that. Name of the candidate and the, this symbol. So you can verify your vote that whether you have cast, uh, casted your vote, same is the, uh, sa at the same place you have casted. Otherwise, there is no manipulation or the, there is no variation. Okay. So what has been the history of this? We will see that when we started with the electoral process it was very difficult into the first two election okay at that particular time the situation was like that if there is the six candidate there will be the six boxes and the voters have to go and if voters want to vote for that of uh, this post this candidate so here there will be the pay ballot paper ballot paper will be there he will stamp his vote against this person and put this into the deo. And here, the voters have to put this into the box in the blank manner. So there was the confusion that whether I have to put the stamp on all. So by making the uh, training, by helping them, we make them aware that how they have to vote. But yes, there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of the invalid vote due to this. And uh, the voters have to do a lot of hard work. They have to put the papers in the each of the box. Here it is for the candidate. Here they will vote. They will be the blank where they are not going to vote. In the four or five, they are going to vote. Here they will, they will put this box, or this paper with the stamp and put there. Okay. So th this number of the box, this person who are going to uh, the polling officers and the booth officers all have to carry all this thing and this become very rigorous task okay by the third election we just brought uh, one box and uh, there are the ballot paper with the name of each of the candidate and here they have to stamp okay so this made it easier by the 1982 1982 we introduced the evm this was the first time into the kerala and it was the district into the the name of the district was Paranur. Okay, so here Paranur is the district that is into the Kerala we experimented. After that, into the next election into the 2001, we brought this on the all booth, and this was the assembly election of the Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and the Punducherry, West Bengal. So please remember. And the, for the first time into the 2004 general election, uh, we use EVMs at the all the constituency. Okay. But the case was filed into the Supreme Court for the validity of the EVM and the introduction of the VV, uh, VVPAT. And in the Subramanian Swami case, Subramanian Swami versus the Election Commission of India case 2013, the Supreme Court ruled that please use VVPAT so that we can verify. After that, VVPAT was used into the, into the full scale into the 2019, okay, 2019 election. But the thing is that is still we use only 5% of the assembly constituency that to verify VVPAT with the EVM. Now the case is for the 100% of the verification. What is the international practice with respect to the EVM? In many of the developed countries, even the U.S. that use the ballot paper, they do not use at the national level election or the federal election. For example, England, France, Netherlands, even the U.S., they are using the ballot paper. Germany, one of the developed countries with the most of the technology, they started with the EVM, but the, they reverted back to the ballot paper. The, the court into the uh, Germany, that they cleared this EVM as unconstitutional. Okay, so here EVM was discarded. The question that do we have any major economy or the major countries that use the EVM? Yes, Brazil has, uh, Brazil uses the EVM at the full scale. What about our neighbor's country? For example, do the Pakistan uses? No, Pakistan do not use the EVM. It's used the ballot paper. Even in the Sri Lanka, uh, this Bangladesh started with the EVM, 
but in 2014 election it is started into the 2018 but it's uh, reverted back to the ballot paper into the this year e election so why we are using the evm evm have the lot of uh, uh, good fac uh, facility and characteristic that reduces the burden on the electoral process and election commission of india the first thing is that it reduced it minimized the risk of booth capturing why because the rate of vote casting in the in the ballot paper there could be the lot of this uh, vote casting into the one minute they can do the booth capturing they can cast what they can put all this into the box into the 10 minutes 15 minutes but this is not possible in evm in evm into the one minute just four vote can be cast means in every fun, uh, 15 minutes one vote can be cast so you cannot do vote capturing you can uh, there will be the very low rate even in one hour what will be the numbers you can multiply one with the four and four with the 60 it could be the 240 votes can you understand 60 second into the or uh, 60 minute into the one hours and if you will in uh, calculate the 60 by multiplying four it will be the 240 votes in one hour until that the police will reach there will be the security guard so that's why the this booth ca uh, capturing has been minimized besides that we have reduced the invalid vote because whenever we go for the stamping on the ballot paper it was difficult because uh, many a times we change the line or the symbol line so there was a lot of difficulty now this is very much low into the this evm the third thing is that it is eco-friendly because we don't have to use lot of papers and papers comes from the trees trees or the raw, uh, raw materials we have to cut every other billion of the people who votes in india and that's why we have reduced besides that administrative convenience we have to take all these boxes whenever we use the ballot paper there's a lot of pressure on the people those who are holding this election those officers polling officers okay so here we have seen that the mechanism are placed to ensure there uh, there is the integrity of the evm and the vbpat process by including the uh, random allocation of evms to the booth and conducting mock polls before the actual voting so that we can know that whether the evm is working in a proper manner or not so these are the things now the thing is that we want this on the full scale 100 percent so this is practically not possible because if you are going for the 100% of the counting of this all the VV pack slip so it will be very difficult because you are going back to the ballot paper again the all counting you have to do a lot of effort uh, people have to need to make they, this will delay the uh, the result declaration process so what can be the possibility we can do the first thing we can do we can increase the numbers of the verification percentage of uh, verification five percent to the more and we should divide this constituency into the regions and if we find any of the error into the any region for example one constituency of the mla can be divided into the 10 regions in the 10 region if we found into the any of the region one of the error into the avm we should verify all the vv pads so it will enhance the trust into the people with respect to the electoral process so this is all about from the two days news we have covered most of the relevant news we don't have the major topic where we can practice the means of question on the two days news analysis so here we will conclude our session without without the any of the means practice question we will try to bring into the next session okay so here thank you for joining the session all the best jai hind